uh, choosing an off ramp up here. Uh, again, though, pursuit's been going on for some time. There is a possibility. It's just a possibility that that driver might not have noticed or heard the lights and sirens. I'm just kind of throwing things out there. Uh, you know, he's got rearview mirrors. I'm sure he saw those reds and blues in his back, you know, behind him. But uh, it looks like he, got, he just kind of got out of the uh, carpool lane, now s established in the middle, slowing down some, which is a good sign. Every time these vehicles slow down, you just, like I said, with something like this, you just don't want to see it end poorly. You don't want to see a big vehicle like that colliding with a car and or anything else, you know, even injuring the driver inside that bus. And w as far as we know, that's what we were doing just moments ago, trying to look in through that front windshield just to see what we could see, just grab a gander. And, uh, you know, the only thing we can confirm is, you know, the obvious. There's just the driver. Right now, though, doesn't look like he's pulling over. That was just wishful thinking. This pursuit continuing, make its way into the Van Nuys area, past Burbank Boulevard, and uh, the speeds seem to be picking up again. Traffic? It's about what you see right there. It's going to be moderate. I would say moderate. It's a lot of cars, but they're all moving at, at or above freeway speeds. Welcome to California. And, you know, there you go. It's just making its way. Right now, California Highway Patrol, they've been switching it out like we've talked about before. We went, it came into a different division. But uh, those officers, they continue on, one of them staying, and, the, and uh, right now being joined by other officers from the West Valley area. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, it was at 80. Now we've dropped down to actually 65. I just went, just now I heard of uh, heard them talking, calling it out. They said they're actually established at 65 miles an hour. You know, maybe that driver, I've said it before, maybe he's just thinking, oh, I'll just play it cool, start, you know, following the rules here, and they'll just back off. But speed wasn't what the, wasn't the reason why they tried to pull this thing over. Uh, it, it came up as a stolen vehicle, and that leads to a bunch of questions. Does that person behind the wheel understand what he's driving? Like you said, this is a big, big vehicle loaded down with a lot of accessories. You know, it can take up to 25 people. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's just the driver in there. But it, does this person understand? understand or th know about the vehicle he's driving that's that seems to be one of the big questions for me so that gives you an idea that you know, it, maybe he is familiar with it maybe it's a, a, a disgruntled employee who knows I mean we could go through a list of things but stolen is what it is and you know the California Highway Patrol they're kind of kind of tasked with all right okay this vehicle's stolen uh, you know, we want to we want to pull it over. We want to get that driver into custody. But how do you pull? How do you stop that? How are you going to stop this thing right now? Uh, you know, spike strips. You know, that'd probably be the first thing most viewers would say at home is like, just throw some spike strips. But you're driving on the freeway. The freeways are packed. How are you going to get that vehicle separated enough where you can actually deploy those spike strips? Pit maneuver. It might be possible, not at these speeds, that's for sure. It's kind of a misnomer, uh, Bobby, about the whole, the size, you know, because it's going to be so big. Uh, the reality is, is that, you know, that the pit probably could be, you know, done with a vehicle that size. It's just the speeds have to be slower. Maybe he's got to be on a turn, a little bit of physics. Don't ask me. I'm just a guy in a helicopter, but it can be done. Uh, but right now, the only thing they can do is kind of warn the public, like, hey, this guy could be dangerous. Lights and sirens are on. They're just behind him. Yeah. Thank you. 
Well, you know, Bobby, it, it's interesting that you, you're, you're reading our minds. This is what I love working with the family here at Fox. You know, uh, it, you talk about that. We just got information from this California Highway Patrol helicopter, how this thing was found. Apparently, the owner of the company was the one that tracked it down and was actually following it, got a hold of California Highway Patrol, said, hey, my bus is right here. You know, it is stolen. It's been reported stolen. Come and get it and was waiting or is, it might actually that guy might actually still be trailing behind because speeds were not so excessive but that's how this uh, vehicle got you know got found on the 405 and like you said started you know could could have most likely came from San Diego this vehicle seems to be on a mission like you said looks like we're going to be going northbound on the 405 we've been staying north he's going to he's got a couple of options but in the lanes he's in it looks like 405 is going to be the where, where we're going to stay for a little bit this takes us onto the five maybe you had a plan to go up north somewhere we just don't know right now i can tell you california highway patrol they're behind it confirmed stolen vehicle like you said thank goodness not dangerous not this guy's not changing lanes or being very aggressive but again it's that how do you stop this thing how do you get that driver possibly to change their minds and pull over opposed to just continuing on and you know something else uh, i don't you know i i'm not our Google, let's just be honest, don't have enough internet to go to Google right now. But I'm kind of wondering if a bus like that has the ability to have extended tanks. So maybe this thing can just keep going and going and going, uh, you know, possibly all the way up to San Francisco without running out of fuel. So right now, we're... front of Right, you know, and uh, and right now he's driving extreme. He's, he's picking up his speed a little bit. There was that this area right here, a little bit of an uphill grade, going to be more of an uphill grade here in just a moment or two. Got some information from our assignment desk saying that most likely that vehicle has a hundred gallon tank. I'm going to work with Angie here for just a second. It is behind us. It just it just transitioned onto the five. Um, so you know, these are things that we're thinking about. Also, it it's a probably I'm guessing it's a diesel. Something that big is a diesel. So again, we just don't know who's in there, what, why this is going on. That's also the big curiosity. Uh, you know, who took this vehicle, who that driver is, and uh, you know, this California Highway Patrol. These guys really good at their jobs and uh, you know it almost sounds like you know i'm poking fun at them but i'm not they are excellent at their jobs and you know they already there is some sort of plan coming up i'm just letting you people know because in the past when i've basically called out what's going on i've been called out myself people are saying oh he's letting them know I really hope he's sitting down there watching uh, watching us right now, maybe on some app, you know, being safe while driving. But, you know, the reality is probably he is not. So we can talk about things like that. But they are making a plan. They're not just there. They're right now it isn't just we're going to follow them. And, uh, and they're making their way. This is going to be the, we're established on the 5 freeway now, coming up to the New Hall Pass. 210 freeway coming up as well. But it does seem like... Uh, you know, he is kind of hanging over there. He could jump onto the 210 at the last moment, but it seems like he's determined to go north, seeing how he came from San Diego. So my guess, staying on the 5, we're going to be coming up through the New Hall Pass. He has that 14 choice coming up as well. But right now, better than freeway speeds is what I can say. That vehicle is moving along at a good clip. We haven't seen him make any dangerous lane changes. And uh, California Highway Patrol, they're making their presence known. Uh, so the, you can see one of those officers kind of off to the side, another one but right behind it. And I believe that that plan is basically to kind of let that driver know that, you know, we, you have several officers back here and we want you to pull over. 
uh, you know, it's one of those command presence type of situations. But that driver, uh, Justin was telling me, seemed to be look very relaxed uh, behind the wheel, one hand on the wheel, just kind of driving along this afternoon. And again, now definitely starting to hit a grade, so you might see that thing slow down a little bit. But uh, continuing northbound, California Highway Patrol, they got their hands full, but they are making some plans, and hopefully they'll be able to execute them, and we'll see how that goes. Up, oh, 14. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Well, uh, you know, right now I can tell you that you made a quick change right there, uh, got onto the 14 freeway. Uh, California Highway Patrol, they've got to switch it up a little bit. We've talked about this in the past, just like all law enforcement, California Highway Patrol have areas and, and that they, divisions as it would be that they patrol. Uh, the 14 is going to put them in the new hall or put them with new hall. So they just, they're going to be changing up some of those cars. I can see one of them really making a move down there, trying to kind of catch up and fall into place. And uh, and maybe, it maybe even pass. Yep, that guy's making, a, is passing. So that might be one of the vehicles that, might have that plan that we talked about uh, going on. So he's get, he's probably going to try to make his way well ahead of what, what you see right there. Right now, though, the pursuit continues down there. Uh, and uh, they're just, the uh, only thing they can do right now is follow along, kind of warn the public. Uh, the vehicle moving a little faster than freeway speeds. This part of the 14 downhill, so you know, got gravity working working for them. But it's you know as we make our way into this um, into the Santa Clarita area, it's going to really you know th it's going to you're going to have to start climbing. So gas mileage is going to go down. Uh, I heard heard um, heard him say that you know newer bus. It pr it does. It looks like a brand new or, or almost new uh, vehicle. So again, uh, just keep an eye on it right now also kind of wondering is it just the driver in there are there other people in there how are the officer is going to treat this situation when they bring when this thing comes to an end how are they going to clear that bus do they are they going to have to uh, so it those things are kind of interesting as well how they're going to handle all that stuff when this thing comes to a stop I don't know, looks like he's getting off the freeway. Where's he at? He's right out my door. Yeah, he's still, uh, clearly, he's, he's, he's literally um, nine low. Nine straight down. Yeah, he's changing lanes. I thought he was gonna get off the freeway. Uh, 
Uh, thank you, thank you for that. We have some audio issues up here right now. This where our location. We, Bobby, I'm sorry. I, I, I love the chat. I love the conversation and the throw back and forth. But right now, uh, unable to uh, do that because of the uh, FM radios. I can tell you though, this vehicle continues to move. We were kind of hopeful that because he was way over in the right lane there for a little bit, and was kind of hopeful maybe he's just going to get off the freeway. It seems to be one of those chases where there's a destination. This driver has an idea where he or she wants to take that vehicle. Uh, we, we understand it started somewhere uh, down in San Diego. The owner of the actual bus or the company was the one that located the vehicle, got a hold of California Highway Patrol that was somewhere in the Mar Vista or, oh, excuse me, Mar Vista area. And then that's where we picked it up as well. And this thing has just been continuing northbound. We were on the 405, we were on the 5, now we're on the 14. Uh, technically still the Santa Clarita area, but the bus itself just kind of just driving, as, as we've been saying. It isn't anything crazy dramatic. We haven't seen the vehicle cut anybody off. We haven't seen uh, anything like that. California Highway Patrol, you know, they're behind them. The lights and sirens are going, and it seems to be working. At least it's uh, notifying the public. We've been watching people do the right thing, kind of make their way slowly off to the right when they hear those uh, sirens coming. But that bus, well, it's not stopping. And there's a vehicle there on the side of the road, a California Highway Patrol, and here he goes. Oh! I, I don't know if we actually saw that, but he definitely did throw the spike strips out there. What a toss. I mean, that was, what, uh, 8, 16, uh, <laughs> 24 feet at least uh, he tossed that uh, that spike strip out to try to get it in front of the uh, front of the bus there. I'm not sure if, if it made contact. I was looking out the window. Uh, Justin's on our camera this afternoon. I really couldn't see that if they did. Justin, you think he hit it? Okay. Uh, so at any rate, he did make that toss. It looked like it got in front of it, but I don't know if they were deployed properly. We'll see pretty soon. Uh, we've talked about this in the past. Those spike strips, it isn't like in the movies. The tire isn't going to blow out and you know and shred and stuff like that. They're basically little nails that are hollow. And uh, in, they get stuck up in, into the tire and they just let that air out slowly so that tire deflates slowly so the driver... You know, he's going he's gonna to realize he has a flat tire. It isn't exactly a blowout. But uh, we're going to keep an eye on the, on the vehicle, continuing northbound. Sand Canyon, the next stop up here. Uh, but it does almost seem, I don't know if it's the grade. I'm hoping it's a flat tire. But it does seem like that vehicle is slowing down as we're making our way northbound. 14 freeway, passing Sand Canyon on a grade. Bobby? You want to take a peek on the other side? You want to take a peek on the other side? See if the, the tire went, uh, the driver's side is going down? Yeah, and my battery's dead. Oh, we have a perfect storm of bad today. I'm going to lose my scanner. My monitor, I can't see anything. You're going to have to tell me. It looks solid, doesn't it? Uh, that sucks. <coughs> A helicopter? All right. I think they had another unit making its way a little bit more north. He's right there. Yep. Uh, 
Oh. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes. I'm, no, I, I, that's the shot I was looking for right there. That was it. That was good, Justin. Man, yeah, the, the California Air Patrol helicopter. Bobby, I'm not sure if, uh, if if you're tossing to me or if you're if or if I'm cutting you off in the middle of a conversation with some soundboard will be listening, but California Patrol made the, uh, has a helicopter over it as well. That was the helicopter that we just showed a moment ago down low. Uh, the vehicle itself continuing to climb this grade up here at 14 Freeway. We're making our way out towards the Acton area right now. Traffic definitely getting lighter, but the vehicle not driving any faster. Uh, California Highway Patrol, again, like I said earlier on, they have a plan. They're not just going to follow it. They are trying to actively figure out a way to bring this thing to a stop. Right now, though, making our way, you can see it, the number one lane, uh, that bus it's loaded it's you know the only thing we know is the drivers behind the wheel we don't know if that driver is an accomplished driver meaning somebody that knows that vehicle or understands that you know you're driving a 45 foot vehicle that's heavy or if this is somebody that just has actually stolen that vehicle from that uh, limo company uh, California Highway Patrol they might have a little bit better information about what's going on as in they've been talking to the owner of that company but right now I can tell you that they uh, they just want to bring this thing to a stop. The driving hasn't been erratic. There hasn't been any near misses or anything that we could possibly call extremely. Okay. Well, I heard that. Thank you. Did you lose our signal? They might have lost our signal. All right. Oop. Something's going on. Yeah, he's slowing down a lot. Definitely. I think they would have said it. Yeah, he almost, he almost stopped there. Oh, I somebody's somebody's talking to me. I can't hear you. If you want me to talk, just say go, 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 go. Was that a go? Yes, I can hear you. I heard somebody say, I, I know you can hear me. You want me to turn my microphone off? Okay. Yes. Oh. What? Uh, 
uh, off or up? Test, test, test. It is on. It is on. I can't make out what she's saying. Yeah, okay. What is this? There are people actually passing the California Highway Patrol at the bottom. Uh, yeah. I was actually thinking maybe it's the owner of the company. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Right? A little bit better, yes. Yeah, I can I can barely make a it's it's not an on or off. It's like you guys are in static and I'm trying to pick up what you're saying. Okay. If I hear you, I'll start talking. No doubt about it. You're welcome. Gonna get fuel at Fox. Yep, yep, there is. Here comes another spike strip, another spike strip. I'm telling you, don't worry about it. And no, they didn't do it. I don't know why. He just went right by it. It was a was the uh, the SUV and the and a motorcycle cop. I don't know. Bobby, we've been watching. There was another chance for another spike strip, and uh, they just didn't do it. The, the officers decided probably it was a little too dangerous, or there was something that, that caused them not to. So that was uh, over there at Sierra Highway, at the 14 northbound Sierra Highway. Acton is where we are. Crown Valley is coming up. is going to be the next off-ramp. You know, that party bus that one time, uh, yeah, you have to excuse me, I, I, haven't been have, I haven't had the luxury of hearing you earlier on, almost came to a stop there on the 14 for a moment or two. We thought maybe something 
something had happened or the vehicle had conked out, but it just kind of really came to an almost stop and then continued down on the northbound 14 freeway. Uh, you know, the California Highway Patrol, they're doing what they can to track this, uh, track this vehicle. I heard one of the uh, officers calling in and giving the information that they had, and they were talking about that, and I was listening in best I could at that point about, uh, you know, the actual owner. I think that is uh, an interesting part of this whole dynamic, that the owner was the one that actually was tracking it and said, hey, this is where my bus is, you know, can you come and uh, try to stop it? Uh, right now, though, that driver just continues to drive. I would almost guess. Now, this is, you know, again, this is how this is how you can be wrong. Is when you just start throwing out guesses. Is that I have a feeling that that driver knows what they're doing. Possibly uh, somebody that's driven a vehicle like that before, because we haven't seen anything too erratic except for that uh, decision at the last moment to take the 14. The bus itself been basically staying at little better than freeway speeds. That's a great shot right there, Justin, showing the California Highway Patrol helicopter above of it and uh, talking to the officers down there on the ground. Same type of deal like Sky Fox. They're going to kind of just keep with it and uh, relay information to the officers. And if they need something, like what's going on ahead, things like that, that helicopter will take care of it. And if they actually need it at the end, that we've seen it in the past. That helicopter will land where it is safe and an officer will get out to actually uh, conduct or help in conducting an arrest. Right now, though, this one just seems to be a slow-moving party bus. This uh, vehicle moving along right here. It, is, it has been an uphill grade the entire time, so whatever gas mileage that vehicle or diesel, uh, you know, it was uh, getting, it's going to be a little bit worse, and uh, hopefully they just didn't have that thing filled up when it was taken, because these, you know, how do you stop something like that? Yes, they're using spike strips. There was a uh, one actual attempt, and uh, then the second one where they kind of just aborted it at the last moment, not really sure why. But, um, you know, we talked about doing the pit. It, they're not going to do it on the freeway. They're not going to do it when speeds are up this high. Uh, and, you know, that vehicle itself, you know, like you said, it's it's big. It's heavy. It's, it's lumbering is probably a good word for it. But... Uh, you know, in the end, it's the driver. That's, you know, that vehicle isn't going on its own. The driver's driving it. That's the person making the decisions. Right now, that person's making a decision not to stop, and uh, it just continues on. There's another uh, California Highway Patrol vehicle, and this is a thing, too. It, it, I don't think that one is actually going to do any kind of pit maneuver just where it's located on the freeway. A lot of these officers, they're out here patrolling. I'm sure they want to get involved in this chase, but, you know, they've, They've got a different job to do. Uh, actually, it's on the go, so it's probably they're probably switching off. It's probably another uh, another officer uh, taking uh, taking somebody else's spot. But again, uh, you know, this is just going to go till it stops. I know that sounds almost like you know I'm trying to be funny or poking fun at it, but it's the truth with this one. That's a big vehicle. They can try to get those spike strips ahead of it. The driver's the one that's going to make that decision to bring it to an end. But right now, that driver just continuing to go and go. He's going to enjoy his last couple of moments of freedom because when this is over, he's going to get he's going to go in handcuffs and hopefully he's going to go in the back of a police car and nothing else. Right now though, this is just continuing on a little better than freeway speeds. We're making our way into Palmdale. Going to start some downhill, so whatever he lost in gas mileage, he might gain here in a little bit. Bobby? <laughs> okay. Wow, he was low over those wires. <laughs> Pear Blossom, he's taking Pear Blossom. I don't want to cut off Den, but we're taking Pear Blossom. We're getting off the freeway. Yeah, we're going to lose IFE again. We're going to lose our signal altogether. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's not taking Pear Blossom. He's taking the other one. 
He's taking Sierra. This would be a good place to take it down. Throw some spike strips in front of it. Uh, he could, they could have, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like he's on the wrong side of the road. Sierra Highway. It's okay. They probably don't have us. You can bump it up, but I... Whoa! Oh! Yep. Yes! He just crashed. He just crashed. He just crashed. Just crashed. Yep. Orbit, orbit. Well, you know, the, it, it's one of those situations where I'm always kind of torn on really how to report this. That was a pretty solid hit to that uh, back of that uh, vehicle that you saw there, that little silver car. That little silver car kind of sitting by itself, wrong side of the road. Other folks on Sierra Highway seem to know what's going on, but other vehicles are kind of coming up to it right now. And, uh, and what's going on right now is the driver's door is open, so I'm thinking that that driver's just going to kind of give himself up after realizing what just happened here. Don't know why that really happened. I mean, that all the vehicles were moving, you know, pretty, pretty along at a pretty good clip. Uh, you know, th I'm keeping an eye on one. I'm looking out the window at that uh, smashed car and looking at the uh, driver going into custody right there. You know, there you go. That's one of those ones. I Again, I always hate to be the, you know, saying that. It, it, it does appear to be a female driver, and uh, it looks like she is going into custody right now after that accident. But I'm really concerned about those folks in that car. Uh, you'd think that one of the uh, California Highway Patrol or somebody from California Highway Patrol would get a vehicle over there just to say, hey, are you okay? Um, but uh, right now they're taking that driver into custody, that vehicle, that party bus. You know, it, it came to a stop probably because it couldn't go anymore. Uh, you, with, uh, that's, uh, that female driver going into custody right now. And also, there's a lot of other civilians down there by that other vehicle. Nobody's checking on that person at all. You, it's right there. You, you went past it. It's the one that's sitting. You keep going up, keep going up, keep right, right there, that one. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. It's like nobody has kind of made their way over there. The see, hey, Somebody has. I just noticed there's somebody has their people from that white truck. So, you know, look at that car. That trunk completely gone. That was a pretty hard hit. Hopefully they're going to be okay. That dr driver of the party bus in custody right now. California Highway Patrol, they have to clear that vehicle. But uh, I really hope they have at least uh, made a call for an ambulance and maybe some of the re re uh, responding officers will make their way down there to see if that civilian, if it's just that person by themselves, is okay. Uh, the person from the pickup truck making their way back over to that civilian's vehicle right now. Uh, just, you know, and that's the thing. Even if they are okay and it just was like a hard hit, you just want to say, are you okay? 
uh, you know, we just don't know. But uh, right now, the party, but the party is over. And uh, you can see those officers making their way over to that vehicle. They have to clear it. We've seen this on 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 all the pursuits. This one a little bigger, a little more unusual. But uh, again, what a what a what a shame of an ending out here with that uh, that party bus just rear-ending some uh, poor civilian this uh, afternoon on Sierra Highway out here in the Palmdale area, Bobby. Yeah. She's in custody. Right there. Very dangerous indeed, and we, you know, any time it ends with something with, you know, anybody hurt, it, it is always uh, tragic. Uh, hopefully, and you know, we know that there's no loss of life here, but the driver of that vehicle, thank goodness some of these motorcycle officers made their, one of them at least, went over there uh, to make sure that that driver is okay. Uh, you know, and, and that, that is really important uh, to see that. Uh, there's communication going on right there. You can see the uh, driver of the vehicle talking. So that's these are all huge pluses. But you can see what, what a hard hit that was. I mean, the, the entire back of that car, the trunk area completely gone. Uh, the, the party bus damaged to the point where it can't go anymore. Uh, probably took out the radiator and, and etc. But you know, it, it is just it's just it's just sad. And and for what? That's the big thing. It's like I'm always really curious. I get asked that all the time, and it's so hard to find out. But why? Why did that person take that bus? Why why were, why did we all go on this ride with them? And uh, to have it end with something like that. Uh, the uh, I'm w still watching the over at the party bus. The drivers uh, uh, the, the in definitely in custody. Officers are walking around uh, Sierra Highway. That's going to be a little bit of a different thing. Uh, they're probably going to get this cleared shortly, but I would say probably you know no movement uh, north or I'm sorry east or west out here until. Uh, you know, they have at least those vehicles off the roadway. And I do know that uh, county fire has been called. But, it, you know, we're in a spot right now that it, it's not that convenient for them. They have, it's going to be a minute or two before uh, paramedics make their way over here. So, and again... I don't know yet. Perfect. Hey, everybody, thanks for your patience. Believe me, I was trying to be difficult. I was trying to be a team player the best I could. With that being said, Simon Desk, what is the plan for the helicopter? Uh, we're discussing it up here. We're in one of those awkward spots. Uh, 
we probably could make it back to Van Nuys, but we'd have to leave pretty soon. I understand, and uh, I would like that as well. We'll make every effort, but as soon as we see the actual driver, and uh, you know, get some decent shots, a couple minutes of decent shots. I, I don't want to wait for her to go into an ambulance. The ambulance isn't even here yet. But uh, I know what you're looking for, and yes, but uh, after that we should really start heading south. Because if not, we're gonna head north. Yeah, Dave, I, I didn't want to cut you off because if we wait too long, there is fuel in the Antelope Valley, but we got to go farther north to get it. So I'm, it, I'm just thinking time. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we'll probably just get that on, on tape and then dump back down. Are you into, into Blue Ridge or what are you into? Really? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, I'm saying this for TOC and for you. Um, we are relatively high to keep the signal and uh, when she comes out, we have the ability to roll on board. We do, right? Um, it, we're going to drop down, and we'll try to get a license plate for you and, uh, and better shots of the, the victim of the crash. Uh, yeah, just watch. We're going to find out that, that, that all this was for that. Well, the bus is off. The oh, for us? Oh. Is it Philippe? Oh. Aldo. <coughs> Things with a party bus. Yeah. And, and get that party bus going. Top dog, they need the work. Of course. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure she's not dead or crippled or, you know, you know, compound fractures, but to get hit that hard, yeah, she's going to be hurting bad. She's going to be hurting tomorrow. 